not know that. He is that bad this morning. Kind of. <laughs> Did you just wink at your grandma? It's one of our children that is autistic. We're really, really proud of the strides that she's making to share her artwork and share a piece of herself. And I thought this was a really cool way. So you could kind of see what it's like to be in the mind of someone that is autistic and how the world is for them. Ireland and I are heading up to the emergency room. Hi, yo. Good morning, how's your breakfast? Good. Good. What are you two watching this morning? 50 ways to break a Nintendo Switch. Oh. Did they demonstrate it or just explain it? No, he does it. Oh no, that's so wrong, it's so wrong. Are you getting ready for school? I'm actually watching Axel and they're actually taking this. What are they doing? Oh, it's super fast. Is that cool? No, we're doing it fast. You're doing it really fast? Good morning. What are you two doing? Look at your crazy puppies. They're always playing, you guys. It's so crazy. What are you doing? Look at you. Aw, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. He says, here, let me chew your head. Let me chew your head. We can't do school yet, can we? No. How come? Because there's no internet. Yeah, our internet is down again, you guys. Yeah, our internet has been going up and down all morning. So hopefully Matt's getting ready to call. I tried to reset the internet, but Matt's getting ready to call him and see if he can get him to fix it. Because it'll go up for a little bit and then it just goes right back down. So we'll see. Zane has been such a sleepyhead the last couple mornings. Hey. Hey. Hey, Zayner, Zane, Zane, hey, you gotta get up and get dressed for school. Zane, hey, wake up. I don't think he's quite ready yet, you guys. So our internet's down, guys, so we're gonna do a lot of book work today instead of computer work, and Aspen and I are gonna read Good Night Moon. Are you excited? I, he's got his phone back, you guys. He's been taking pictures and vlogging on his little phone. Does yes! Matt... <laughs> Kyler gave me that one because he got a new phone. Yeah, Skylar gave you his old phone. It doesn't actually work for like making phone calls, but he likes to use it to play games and watch YouTube kids and take oh, pictures mom, and baby cutie. vlog. Oh, look at all the cooties. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Are you ready for school? Come on, mom. sit the letter. What letter is this? We just learned it. G, very good. Oh my god, I have white. What's this say? Good night, moon. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. We've been reading our adverbs book, you guys. Dearly, nearly, and sincerely. I can't even get it in there. It's all blurry. But this is what we've been reading, and Ireland <laughs> says she has something to tell us. What is it? So, I have a sentence with an adverb. Okay. Are you very famous? So what's your adverb? Famous. Very would be your adverb, but you were right because famous is an adverb. Is your verb. Yes. But very famous, so it's saying more about the word yeah. famous, right? So you could mm -hmm. say um, the room was brightly lit. Room was brightly lit. What is the <gasps> adverb there? Brightly. Brightly. So if I gave you a sentence that said, sometimes I'm nervous, but usually fine. Usually. Usually is one. There's another one. So listen, Five. sometimes I'm nervous, but usually. Sometimes. Good job. Nice another. Work. Can we do one more? Sure, we can do one more. All right, let's see. Um, frankly, this hot dog just couldn't be better. What's your Frankly. Ad? Good job, that's your answer. Very nice. We ended up having to run into Dubuque. We've got Braxton and Aspen with. And look it. And what? 
Oh, you have Boca Boca or Toca Boca? What is it? Toca Boca or Boca? Toca Boca. Toca Boca. Anyway, we have to go get a modem for our internet because it is completely down. And replace an Xbox controller. Yes, and get a headset for the school room because our speakers on the computer are really low so the kids can't hear. So we're just doing school out of books today instead of internet school. You guys ever buy the replacement plans on your video game devices? Because that's the best thing we ever did, especially for yeah. headsets and, and controllers. controllers. Headsets and controllers because we go through so many. And I'm kind of grouchy. I have a headache. Yeah, he's been grouchy all morning, you guys. It's been a tough pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. I'm not that bad. He is that bad this morning. Mm -hmm. What a good big brother. Look at him. He's taking his little brother potty. You know, these kids make me proud. They are really good to each other. You know, they have their moments, they're like any other kids. They argue, they fight, they get upset with each other. But really, at the end of the day, they're really good to each other. Just got invited in for pizza at Grandpa's work, so I'm headed in to get some of that because it looked like it was Happy Joe's and that is one of my favorites. Go sit at the table and I'll put... Oh, it's put a, pizza hot. You want a piece? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry? Go over there and sit at the table. Go, go, go. Uh, I don't mushroom like the pizza. pepperoni. I don't like the pepperoni. It's not mushroom on What? Yeah. I don't like mushrooms. You've never even tried mushroom pizza. Wow. Yeah. There, Grandpa oh, ate your pepperoni, off. This? Did you tell Grandpa thank you? Them are good. You have mushrooms? Mm-hmm, they're yummy. And what are these? Mm. Mushrooms. Did you tell Grandpa thank you? Thank you. Oh, Grandpa, thank you for lunch and goodbye. Bye. Thanks for that. Get your coat. Where's your coat, baby? Get your coat and give me a hug. Love you, baby. <laughs> You're my buddy. Kind of. Did right. you just wink at your grandpa? Give him that wink again. I love that Popeye wink. <laughs> All right, so the plus to us having to come in and our internet going down is it ended up saving us $100 a month, which is sweet. So we have satellite for our TV, but we have a cable provider for our internet. And two years ago when we signed up, wasn't it? Oh, uh, we've been, no, we've been with them way longer. But we had a two-year contract. Yeah, right? and it, it was... It's been done. The two-year contract's been done. And we switched to satellite to get the football games. And when I called in, they told me it was cheaper to just keep everything in place and keep our high-speed internet and just leave it at that. So I just left it at that for the last eight months. Something like that. Is that right? About yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently she's like, oh, no, we're going to fix this. So we're going to save $100 a month. Yeah, so I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise that our internet went down today. Yeah. All right, I got to show you this, guys. This is so cool. So T designed this shirt, if you didn't know. We have posted it on our Facebook and stuff, but this is, April is Autism Awareness Month, and two of our kids are autistic, if you didn't know. And this is T's rendition of what it's like to live with autism. So it says different things on it. This is her original artwork. It says... Why are you so quiet? It's only water. Are you shy? Are you okay? Why can't I touch your stuff? There isn't that many people. Smile. Hi. So this is T's original artwork. And then, then on the back it says autism awareness. So this is grandma shirt? Uh, this is grandma or grandpa's. I can't remember. Yeah, they ordered one. And I will put the link down below, you guys, because I'm really, really proud of T. She put a lot of work into making this, and since April is autism, autism awareness, we wanted to share with you. And T said it was okay that we could share. We've never really told which of our kids are autistic, and T said it was okay to share. So if you didn't know, like I said, T is autistic, and we never really share which of our children are autistic, but we do have two autistic children. And um, T said it was okay that we share that, and we've always been of the mindset that it is their decision when they want to or if they want to share that fact with people. So T has said, yeah, mom, go ahead and do that. So 
yeah, now you know T is one of our children that is autistic and she's an artist and so we're really, really proud of the strides that she's making to share her artwork and share a piece of herself and I thought this was a really cool way so you could kind of see what it's like to be in the mind of someone that is autistic and how the world is for them. So. And uh, the shirts turned out. That was the first time we've seen this shirt. Yeah, in person. In person. <laughs> we've seen the design. And they turned out so cool. <laughs> I, I'm very proud of her. It was very neat to see her do that. And she had made that drawing sometime about ago. About a year ago. About a year ago. And she kept telling me that she made that drawing because she wanted to put it on a shirt. And she didn't want to put it on a shirt for other people to actually purchase. She wanted to put it on a shirt for herself to wear during the month of April. And when me and her sat down and she designed this shirt and put her artwork on it, I asked her, I said, T, this is really, really cool. Can I share it on Facebook? And from there, it just kind of spiraled. Spiraled. People <laughs> have been ordering her shirts. So. She's got a shirt, went to Canada, and, you know, it's it's very cool. And I think she also made it available on a mug as yeah. well. So you can get it on a mug or or a shirt. And I, I definitely, I have not got myself one yet, and I'm going to. They are so cool. Yeah, we're really, really proud of T. All right, so we were supposed to have a special art project that Ireland's been waiting to do. We were supposed to make stained glass window clings, but we still have no internet, so I can't print up the template because they've lost our IP address. So she is working on this. My mom gave these to T forever ago, and T brought them out for Ireland because she was really looking forward to art class. Yeah. That is so cool. So they're just, they like punch out almost like paper dolls, you guys, and then they just glue them together and they make. And I can put use the all kinds of things on shapes. them. Yeah. Okay guys, it's meeting number two for me at the Weight Watchers. I really enjoyed last week, so I'm giving it another shot. I'm going to go in and see what I weighed and see if I've lost anything. I've, I've been pretty consistent this week, so hopefully. My life, nobody knows. Nobody ever thinks of a way to town. Skylar's helping me clean behind the couch because we're looking for a lost remote. It's an abyss behind our couch, isn't it? It's always eating toys. This is just some of what was underneath and behind the couch. I told you the couch Whoa. eats everything. Skylar's lost in the abyss. Alright guys, so I'm back home and I'm waiting for Christy to come out. Here she comes because I went to my second meeting. So I was waiting, I didn't open it because I don't even know what it is. I was a little shocked when I got it, but this is from Weight Watchers meeting. It says that I lost five pounds through Weight Watchers, but I actually lost 8.6 pounds this week. So now we're gonna open it. So this little thing says five. Hey, it's working like a charm. Five pounds, five. You've off to a great start, you've got this. Cool. So that was my five pound loss through Weight Watcher Charm. So I lost 8.6, total of 145 pounds now. All right, so Ireland and I are heading up to the emergency room. I don't even know if you can see me in here. We're heading up to the emergency room because it's about 8 o'clock, our doctor is not open, and Ireland started complaining of her ring finger burning. There's no cut, there's no punctures, she was playing with Play-Doh, and then all of a sudden her ring finger just started burning. Tried a little bit of ice, I tried to have her wash it, I put some aloe burn spray on it, and nothing seems to be helping. There's nothing on the skin, you can't see anything, but we have no idea why her finger is continuously burning. So, we're going to just take her up to be sure, see what's going on, and hopefully... We'll figure out what's going on with her. It's dedication. 9.48 at night, and yes, this is true dedication. First of all, I'll give you an update on Ireland. She is just fine. We don't know what was wrong with her finger. I put like this aloe infused burn spray on her finger. Um, 
And the doctor said that she thinks that was the right thing to do because her finger stopped burning and then it just started aching and they said give her some Tylenol and send her to bed. They couldn't see anything. They put like this bright light on it. There were no cuts, no rashes, no swelling. And the doctor said she didn't think an x-ray would be the right thing to do because it's not like she had any injury to it. So yeah, we don't know what's wrong with her finger. But this is dedication, you guys. We are driving around trying, we live in a very small town. So <laughs> there isn't like free Wi-Fi anywhere and our internet is still down. Our IP address is gone, everything's like gone. It's just not working. We're gonna try again to get a modem tomorrow. But for tonight, we're trying to get the vlog out to you. And the only way to do that is to go sit in front of the hospital and try to upload it off of their internet because the library has free internet, but I don't know the password to it. So <laughs> these are the only two places in our town that have free Wi-Fi. So now I'm gonna sit in the parking lot of the hospital and try to upload my vlog. <laughs>